right so now let's talk about list view sharing right so how can we share our list views to a specific set of users now under the sharing settings there are three options the first two i think we are pretty much clear with whether or not you want to keep this entirely personal or for your use you can go with the first option that is only i can see this list view if you want to create a list view that is accessible to everyone in the system this means each and every user in the system who has a login password and username and can access the covid count record will be able to use the list view that's the second option but what if there are specific use case or you know actors in the system who need access to the list view right in that case you can use the sharing of the list view to a specific set of users even that can be done right so to share specific sets of users there's something called role hierarchy in salesforce so you see when i just click here or i click on this icon right here you see that you can share your list view to a specific role or you can share it to some roles and their subordinates right now any and every organization uh, a business organization has a role hierarchy right so on top of the ladder there's a ceo then you have vp of sales then the, then you have the sales team working parallelly the support team the maintenance team and you have some regional officers some support officers and that entire hi hierarchy of in, of every company is uh, different in some ways but kind of similar in in you know in uh, generic terms right so Salesforce also provides a concept of role hierarchy and if you have users assigned to a particular role you can very well search that particular role and share the list view with a specific role right now how are we getting this these many roles coming in the drop down here let's go ahead and go to setup first of all and see how role hierarchy is set up so i'm on the setup section again and i'll just simply type roles on the quick find box right this is the place to configure almost any and everything so i'll just go ahead and click roles here that you see under user section so this opens up the roles page and you can just click on don't show this page again this is just an introduction and then you can click on setup roles right so if you see you have two options collapse all and expand all so if you click on expand all all the roles that salesforce has provided you by default out of the box come uh, are expanded and if you see on top you have salesforce makes sense right that's the company name that we entered initially under that you have the ceo and under ceo everyone else is there right so now if i expand ceo you have the cfo the cwo svp senior vice president of different categories and then you have people under these guys also these roles international customer support for north america for repair services and all of it right now you have a role hierarchy available but if you want to customize it you can very well go ahead and add roles as well so let's say you want to introduce someone some new new person let's say that's the cto and that cto guy should be down below ceo so you can just click on the add role button here and just type in cto right and who will this role report to he'll be reporting to the ceo we clicked on the add role button right below the ceo level so if i just click on save this role will be created so you see this role is created and you can add users to this role if you want to create a new user and assign it you can do that or if you want to assign existing users you can very well do that let me go back to the role section and now if you see this tape is see this grid again you'll see that the cto is also here right so now with cfo and cwo you also have the cto right now let's say i want to assign the current logged in user as the ceo i can just click on this assign button and i can just assign the users here from this list so you see you can search for different types of users you can search for all users who are in the system you can search for all people who have not been assigned any role or people who have who are unassigned and are, and are active users you can also search for different roles so you see cto is a role so under cto there's currently no one that's why you don't don't have any one to you know move from the left bracket to the right bracket right but this kind of says that you can also add users from us from one role to another right that means people who are working as cto can also be ceo i mean that's not practically a good solution to have but maybe let's say people who are working as the channel sales team might also be working with the western sales team as the western sales team role right so you can have a person catering to two different roles you can do that very well okay but in that case the role which is on the higher level in the role hierarchy is given precedence just remember that all right but you can assign people multiple roles that can be done through here so for now what i'll do is i'll just assign this system administrator guy uh, who was in the all user section and i'll just assign this guy here and i'll just click on save so now this means that himanshu maheshwari has been given the ceo role right now if i click on this particular role you'll see that there's one user assigned here makes sense now how do i use this or leverage this for my list view sharing 
pretty straightforward if I go to the sharing setting here I just click on share list views and here I can just search for the CEO role and I can just click on the CEO role here this means that it will be shared with the CEO role which in turn means Himanshu will be able to see this list view right so now this particular list view right here that's the COVID count records for administrator will only be visible to people who have the CEO role assigned to them right so now right now I'm currently logged in as Himanshu let's try and see if this is available to the support manager guy so let's go to profiles and let's try to log in as this user the support manager user so ideally he should not be seeing the list view correct let's try to certify that let's click on view users and let's click on login so if I go to the COVID counts I'm logged in as this guy and if I see this drop down right here you don't see that list view right so this is how you are able to share your list views with specific sets of people right let's log out from here and now let's create one for the support manager guy okay let's log in and also remember that the administrator guy has access to everything right so he'll be able to see list views for everyone but this comes in handy when you have different profiles in the system and different actors and you want to share list views to specific people under that profile or using roles right so what I'll do is I'll just click on the new icon here and I'll create a new list view I'll call it COVID count records for managers and I'll share this list view with the CTO alright so here I'll just call it CTO or let's not use CTO let's go to the role hierarchy page let's set up roles and here let's expand the CEO section and under CTO let's add one more role and I'll call it the support manager role so all support managers working for the COVID count project will be reporting to the CTO and will be assigned this particular role right now let's assign users to this role and I'll just search for the go for all users and here I have the support manager guy right I'll just move this to the list here and click on save all right so our user has been assigned to the role now what we need to do we need to just go back here and I don't think it will come up directly let's click on the sharing settings again and now okay this is for administrators let's switch to okay I'll have to create it again new let's click on share list view and who do I need to share it with I need to share it with the support manager right so support manager role is coming down below correct so let's click this and let's click on save so now this COVID count for managers will be available for the support manager guys since this is being shown to the admin because admin has access to the object entirely so he'll be able to see it because this is the system admin guy so system admin guys see everything they're they are like the boss of the uh, area right so they, they'll be able to see anything but if, but if it was someone else with some other profile it was not a system admin profile they would not be able to see it right the, the reason why the the list view is being made by the system administrator is because he's the system admin right so that's why he's able to make it and share it for other people let's modify this list view so that some relevant information is being shown I'll just add some fields active cases day category entry date and probably total cases and these two fields as well let's click on save and let's filter this by my COVID counts all right that means if if the support guy is the owner of the records only those records will be shown to the support manager right we'll be able to understand now what is the difference between my COVID counts and all COVID counts all right so currently if I have my COVID count selected here the system admin guy is able to see six records right let's now go to the support manager guy and try to log in with this particular profile and let's see how things look like for him let's go to COVID counts and here if I see the drop down I have a new list view coming up right this is cool right COVID count for managers and if I click this and if I pin this I am able to see all the fields and if you see there's just one record that I'm able to see why because this is the only record that I've created see it's the owner is support manager right the admin guy is able to see all because that's the system admin but see since the filter says my COVID counts which means he'll be only able to see the specific COVID count records. Alright. 
so that's how you can share your list views with different sets of users right now there's one more kind of sharing that's available we talked about role hierarchy this is one place wherein role hierarchy can be used and leveraged but there are other spaces also along with that there's one more thing or one more set of people through which you can associate your list views let's go back to the admin view and let's go to the covid count managers list view all right so if i go here and click on sharing settings you see this option right here you have roles and roles and subordinates right but apart from this let's go ahead and do something like create a group of people right just how we create a whatsapp group or a broadcast group right similar to that there are, there are public groups in salesforce right now why why the need of public groups the reason being it might not be necessary that every company follows a role hierarchy in the system right and even if they follow it might not be necessary that people who are working under a specific set of people or or based on the hierarchy the people would work together what i'm trying or intending to say is let's say you are from the channel sales team and i am from the western sales team there could be a project that where where we both have to work, work together right in that case role hierarchy might not come in picture you would have to you know provide access to two roles instead of one right but what if the picture what if there's a bigger picture what if 25 people from 25 different groups sorry 25 different roles come have to come together to work on a project that's a fair possibility in that case public groups come in handy because once you have a public group you can create a set of users so all those 25 people can be created as a set in a and be called a public group and it can contain individual groups it can contain other groups and it can also contain specific people from a particular role right so this is a bigger umbrella compared to the role hierarchy what i'll do is i'll just call all right so let's say this is the public group that i'm creating and these people are kind of working all throughout the nation from different roles and different hierarchy and different places and they're working together for the covid count tracking all right so these people need to come together right even though they are supporting different roles at different uh, specific areas or regions of their particular uh, organization now here you have the search option to search for users when you click on users you see the list of users if you click on roles you'll see all the list of roles now if you want to add the support manager guide to this particular group all you need to do is you just need to go for the cto role and you can just assign it right that way the support manager guy will be able to enter or if you want to specifically add the support manager you can use the role below it that's the actual support manager right if you want the ceo working with you you can add the ceo so uh, all the people who are, who, who are given the role of ceo will be part of this public group right similarly if you have a, another public group which has some 10 people working on some other work but you want them to be supporting the covid stuff you can add that group as well right so i can just go ahead to the user i can just add the support manager and the ceo guy together because I, right now our use cases they both need to work together collectively on this particular project right and let's click on save so this creates a public group now a group is a set of users right and right now the covid support warrior group hold holds two people one is the ceo who is himanshu and the other one is the support manager guy who has the support manager role who works under the cto right this is a very small use case that we understood or that we kind of presented but this number of people too could very well turn into 20 200 or 2000 people together working together for collectively for a particular use case right in those cases you you cannot go ahead and you know share your list views with each and every role what, what would you have to do you'd have to share it with each and every role cto and then you would have to search for uh, western sales team and all of that nonsense right so you'll have to search for probably 20 or 30 roles that they're working on and you would have to provide access that way but now if you see the beauty of it the alongside roles and subordinates you are also getting the public group option since that we created one public group it's it's letting you share your list view to a public group right so these two people will be able to access the list view now whoever are part of the public group all right does that make sense great i'll, I'll be mostly having an assignment with this particular lecture so hopefully you'll be able to create a list view add some filters and definitely share it with uh, some specific sets of people all right great let's meet at the next lecture